see if I can get this in focus. This is John Lee Hooker. Best of John Lee Hooker. Amazing. Um, this guy is an interesting character. Um, but more on him in a second. I just wanted you to soak up his image. He is, uh, let's take a look at him. Uh, one of the guys involved with the, uh, the doxing of uh, Tug and the threatening of his, his wife and child. Uh, if you look at the uh, vitriol directed at Tug by Renfemus and her acolytes, you may wonder why it's so vicious and disgusting. Why are these people, the Tim Doyles and Mark Lombardis and Renfemuses and Richard Paces and others, why are they so evil? It's a bit complicated. Tug is or was Comicsgate, and later he had the audacity to defend Vic in due process. Well, here's how all this works. The Kick Vic Witch Trials Mockingbird side is on the left. They don't believe in due process. They believe that the accusation is the conclusion. 400 years ago, these people would burn women at the stake based on accusations of young girls. These people 100 years ago would be wearing white sheets and hanging men who were accused of sexual battery because they don't believe in due process. Of course, they also support Antifa, who are kids in masks beating up black, Mexican, Asian, women, gays, Jews, because they have the wrong politics. Much of, the boil, much of this boils down to the concept of due process and the values that create it. Their side believes in the Maoist struggle sessions, where you have to prove your innocence to the state, not the state proving your guilt. So the comic gate kick Vic is a left versus right issue. So a lot of people are jumping in without analyzing the issues. A lot of angry teenagers. So here's the thing. It's really hard to argue against due process or independent businesses striking out against the big coal corporations of Marvel or DC and Comicsgate. The left used to be on the side of the little guy, the unions, not the big faceless corporations. So it's really weird that the kids on the anti-Comicsgate side would take the side of billion dollar corporations. Instead of arguing the issues related to Comicsgate or Kick Vic, they go right into ad hominems. But the problem is that most people generally know that ad hominems are dirty, dirty pool. So what they do is they straw man, Comics Gate, Tug, Yellow Flash, your boy, EVS. They know that they're going to stalk and harass these people at sociopathic levels. So they call Tug and the rest racist, sexist, and every other name under the sun. Problem with this is they aren't. We listen to these guys pretty often. We know that they aren't these things. And Renfemist and her crew, who make the accusations, never actually provide any evidence. But remember, with them, the accusation is the conclusion. No evidence is required. What makes the whole thing ironic is that Renfemist actually has old posts where she wants to turn the fire hoses on gay people. Really sick, hateful stuff. And that's the point. A lot of these people are sick, racist, twisted people. They have so much hatred in their hearts that they have to strawman everyone who disagrees with them with labels like transphobe or fascist. Renfemus is actually evil. She is cruel, warped, and hate-filled. Her, her enemies are Ethan Van Skyver, Tug, and the rest of us. But Tug, EVS, are just normal people. Family men with wives and children who love them. The comics geek folks have friends that love and support them, sometimes financially, to the tune of $90,000 for the Littlest Umbrella, available on Indiegogo, or $800,000 for Cyberfrog. Renfemus and her crowd don't have friends. They have allies. Allies that will turn on them in an instant if they aren't in lockstep with the groupthink herd. They are terrified of their own side. At any moment, they are at risk of being called a garbage person and getting canceled, i.e. relentlessly stalked and harassed by people who have tons of free time. They have no lives. They are childish weirdos who are on their phones 24-7. If you look at how often they tweet, sometimes it's hundreds of times a day. They are on their phones. They uh, say they come home from work at 5 or 6. They are on their phones until they go to sleep. For some of them, it's literally a dopamine addiction. For uh, them, those sweet, sweet likes and comments. They aren't going out jogging. They don't go to the gym. They are sitting on the couch on their tablet all night tweeting. These people threaten Tug's five-year-old child. They are anti-comicsgate kick Vic people who are talking about Tug's five-year-old child, who is adorable. 
In what world is it acceptable to even mention someone's pregnant wife and child? If you're supporting people who threaten a pregnant woman and five-year-old child, if you are liking those tweets and retweeting, you are evil. It's that World War II meme where the soldiers are looking at each other and coming to the realization that they are the bad guys. Renfamous Tim Doyle are evil in corporal form. In their mind, they just happen to be on the right side of history every single time. They don't believe in nuance. You're either with them or you're the enemy. And once you're the enemy, nothing is off limits because their enemies aren't human. They treat non-NPCs like the Germans treated the Jews in the 1930s. They stopped treating them like humans and just treated them like parasites that needed to be exterminated. Like how Antifa treats free speech advocates. When people like Tim Doyle, Renfamous get in power, you get gulags and pogroms, ethnic cleansing. And uh, Richard Pace and Mark Lombardi are also in on it. If you go to uh, Renfamous's Twitter and uh, start scrolling... What is even weirder about Renfamous's harassment of Tug is that she was making fun of Tug for having financial trouble, while Renfamous comes from a wealthy family. She'll never have to worry about paying bills or paying for insurance or buying food for her kids, partially because her father is a wealthy oil man and partially because she is literally a childish weirdo, which is a good thing. She feels comfortable threatening or supporting people who threaten children, partially because she doesn't have children, and partially because she is a legitimate sociopath. A lot of the anti comics gate kick Vic people are mentally ill. They don't understand that threatening women and children is abhorrent to most normal people. But there are people like Richard Pace, Mark Lombardi, Tim Doyle, uh, who fully, fully support harassment of women and children. These are the worst people. I should say, they support harassment of women and children who disagree with them. Uh, I think Tim Doyle is the guy who uh, harassed Mitch Breitweiser, Breitweiser's wife. Uh, because Mitch, I think when, okay, when uh, 2015 Trump got elected, took off 2016, Mitch made a post that said something like, here's, here's w best wishes I don't know, hoping that Trump will be a great president for all Americans. Something like that. A completely innocuous post is kind of like saying, well, let's put all this behind us. He's the president now, and let's hope for the best. Let's hope he's he takes care of all Americans. Uh, the comics mafia lost their minds over that post. Tim Doyle has relentlessly harassed, not Mitch Breitweiser, but his wife, and she said, uh, she said, you know, Tim, you don't even know my politics because I haven't talked about them. You don't know if I'm on the right or the left or if I like Trump or even I voted for him or voted for Hillary or Bernie or whatever. You don't know these things because I don't talk about them. So they, they support women. <laughs> they claim to be on the side of women, the white knights, uh, until they step off the plantation. And once you step off the plantation, it doesn't matter if you're... Uh, Asian, Latino, black, uh, gay, uh, trans, uh, Muslim, anything. Once you leave the, the, the group think, you're their enemy. So they do fully support harassment of women and children. They're the worst people I have ever come across. And I've come across some very, very nasty individuals. These aren't the people that will come to you in person and express themselves or even do violence. They're the liar worm tongues will try to get their followers to hurt you. They know that if they call you transphobic or fascist often enough, that one of their unstable followers will do violence for them. Tim Doyle threatening the other day, threatening Tug the other day, uh, but his method is called stokiastic <laughs> terrorism. Tim won't actually show up on Tug's door, or confront him at a convention. But he knows that unstable people will read his allegations, believe them blindly, and do violence in Tim Doyle's name. What um, She's making fun of the, uh, the mailbox when someone, um, some, uh, one of her followers, probably, allegedly, <laughs> came to Tug's house, and uh, while Tug was in the yard with his five-year-old daughter... Someone bashed his mailbox with a baseball bat. Uh, so she's making fun of that. 
if someone went to her house and did the same to her, she would lose her mind and all her Twitter followers, all her white knights, her beta orbiters would lose their freaking minds. Um, so she comes up and she's um, spurging out about, uh, she's trying to defend herself. Um, I don't know if she's getting less engagement, if she's getting less support, because the quartering is talking about it, Geeks and Gamers is talking about it. Those are kind of, um, they're not hardcore comics gate people, they're a little bit less biased than like Ethan Van Skyver. So when they talk about um, Tim Doyle's and um, the other treatment, it's kind of a little... It's kind of a little more serious. Uh, her accusations about child protective services, she's dealing with some very, very nasty people. I don't know. I mean, like I said, she's not going to actually pull the trigger herself on many of these things, but her followers will. She's just broadcasting this vile hatred out to the world. You call someone a uh, fascist often enough, and eventually one of her followers are going to do something about it. Anyway, she's absolute scum. You can check her uh, check her Twitter out. Um, and if, well, what's that? Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe.